Thank you for choosing to watch this video. I shall be tying a simple palomino midge pattern and using Semperfly's dry fly poly yarn to form the attached body. This is a relatively simple tie, it doesn't take too long once you get the hang of it. Start by mounting your hook in the vise and testing the hook and the hold. As always, here I'm using Fooling Rolls Check Nymph hook in size 20. The tying thread I'll be using is Semperfly's Classic Waxed Black and 12 knot. Catch on your thread and proceed to form a smooth underbody. The underbody for this is short because we're only really forming it under the thorax. Don't take your thread too far back, just beyond the point, this should be fine. Next we get our detached body material, the dry fly poly yarn and golden olive in this case. Cut a length from the spool and singe the end to prevent it fraying and make a slight taper. You can roll the burnt end in your fingers to help with that. Then catch it to length on top of the hook using a pinch and loop. I'll make sure that it stays on the top of the hook. Make sure you're happy with where it's sitting and bind it in along the top of the hook to just behind the eye, leaving a bit of space to keep the head neat. Leaving about a hook eye diameter is about right for this one. Bind down the loose ends and we want to position the thread just behind the tying point then tie in the wing material, which is Semperfly's poly yarn in cream for this one. Select the length of material and again pinch and loop it on top of the hook. Catch it in a few wraps and tie down back to the tie in point for the body. Trim away the waist ends as neat as you can. Be careful not to cut your tying thread. Then tidy up the tie end of the body and the wing right to the eye of the fly, making sure we bind down the loose ends and then pull any stray fibres back, taking the time to make sure we catch them all in. This will help keep the head of the fly nice and neat. Then return the thread back to the tying point of the body, making sure we've got a nice smooth underbody, ready to start forming the body with dubbing. Here we're using Semperfly's super fine dubbing in dark olive. This is a versatile dubbing that comes in a, quite a long fibre, so you can use it in various ways. Now for this fly we want to break up the fibre length a little to keep the dubbing neat and tight on the body. start applying a small amount of dubbing to your thread, twisting it into a tight noodle and sliding it up the thread to just below the body. We want to keep quite a slim thorax on this fly, so don't apply too much, just take your time. You can always add more after if you want. Noodle on and try and keep a smooth profile on the body. If you don't like the, the shape or you're building too much bulk, just take a, a wind off and twist the dubbing a little tighter. It can be a little tricky to make sure you cover up and make a smooth profile at the cut ends of the materials, but just take your time. Once you're happy with the thorax, pull the wing forward, catch in with a turn, make sure it's sitting right, and lock it in with another couple of turns of thread, and then lift the wing out of the way and put a couple of turns on under the wing. We'll then put on a small whip finish to finish the fly off and help hold the wing in place. 
For this flight I'll just use a single three turn work finish so as to not build up too much bonk. Once you've formed your whip finish, cut off the thread. Trim the wing to length. All that remains is to varnish the head of the fly. Here I'm using Solara's Bone Dry Clear. It's a nice thin UV resin. This gives a good, strong, quick finish to the fly. Take your time, make sure you don't soak too much resin into the wing and the thorax. Once you've applied it, quick zap with a UV lamp to set the resin. And that's the fly tied. Again, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please drop it a like and subscribe to my channel. Any comments and feedback are always welcome.